At Euroference 20, in his lecture on science, pseudoscience and outright scheisse, Dr. Conway stated as follows, and I hope I'm quoting him correctly. Those fucking furries tried to make me do the ice water challenge. How do I know that water is really ice cold? I want the temperature of the ice water to be NISD traceable. First, let's look at the ALS challenge. The most important part of the challenge is that it gets people to become aware of what ALS is and make a donation to charity. Amyotropic lateral sclerosis is a horrible debilitating disease and eventually lethal condition for which there is no known cure and its cause is still unknown. There are many, many forms of ALS and there is never enough research funding to cover them all. Learning about this condition and developing better treatments to slow its progression and alleviate its symptoms has produced a lot of scientific knowledge useful in many fields of medicine and biology. Getting private donations to fund this kind of research makes the greatest contribution to human well-being. The power behind the challenge is that it's funny. It's funny because pouring ice-cold water on someone usually causes excessive bodily reactions and loud audible howls from the subject. The power of it can be reduced down to two qualities. The subject gets wet and the water is fucking cold. It is the fucking cold aspect of the challenge that Dr. Conway has doubts about and which we will seek to rectify. In the video, Dr. Conway used a Fluke 50 series thermometer with a Type K thermocouple, both of which we assume were calibrated as a pair to within the manufacturer's specifications, indicating a temperature of plus 1.6 degrees Celsius. The uncertainty of the measurement was not stated, but this, with this equipment it should be better than about half a degree centigrade. Why is the temperature measurement so important with this challenge? Well, tap water can be anything from zero to up to and over 20 degrees centigrade, and that is not ice cold. Furthermore, just throwing some ice cubes into a bucket of water doesn't instantly make the water ice cold. A large amount of ice has to melt to bring down the temperature. Here's a short calculation assuming tap water of 20 degrees centigrade. As we can see, for a bucket of water, in theory, you need at least 2 kilograms of ice, and it all has to melt to bring down the temperature to zero. In practice, you need more than this. Furthermore, both water and ice have a high heat capacity and relatively low heat conductivity, so it will take some time for energy to transfer and the temperature to change. In practice, it can take hours for that amount of ice to melt. But what did Dr. Conway mean by NIST traceable? NIST is a federal agency in the United States responsible, among other things, for measurement standards used by industry, commerce and science. Traceability of measurements is very important. It makes sure everyone's measurements are comparable to the same standard. Each country has their own metrological authority and they all constantly compare their measurements coordinated by International Bureau of Weights and Measures. The International System of Units, or this SI system, defines thermodynamic temperatures via a series of so-called triple points or phase change points of different substances on a scale called ITS-90. On this scale, 0 degrees centigrade is defined as about 0 0.1 degrees below the triple point of water, triple point of water being a specific temperature and pressure where water exists in a thermal equilibrium of solid ice, liquid water and gaseous vapor. This is a very stable point which can be used as a point of calibration and can be realized independently in a lab environment. Here we have a triple point of water standard. It contains a very low pressure water vapor, liquid water, and the bottom part will have some ice in it once it is cooled down in an ice bath. The water inside isn't just ultra pure, it is what, what is called Vienna standard mean ocean water. It has nothing to do with ocean water however, there is no salt or other impurities, just H2O. However, it has a characteristic isotopic composition in that we know how many different isotopes of hydrogen and oxygen are in the water. This is because even this affects the freezing point of water somewhat. Somewhat being a relative word here, the accuracy or the uncertainty of the triple point of water standard can be as low as 50 parts per million, that is 0 0.00005 degrees centigrade. Using this standard as a reference, we can then compare or calibrate other more practical or usable thermometers. 
For this measurement, we are going to rely on an SPRTs, or st standard platinum resistance thermometers. They typically have an uncertainty of less than 1 millikelvin, or 0 0.001 degrees. They are very stable, but fragile, and are only used to calibrate other thermometers or temperature calibration ovens. However, we have one here we can use. Now on to our secret furry laboratory. Welcome to our secret furry laboratory. Here we have a bucket of ice water, and as we can see, we are within 69 millikelvins of zero, with an uncertainty of one millikelvin, traceable via our national labs to the IDS-90, including NIST. Uh, fortunately, I have already donated $100 to the ALS Association, so I'm not going to get wet. So, we just need a, a willing test subject. I'm sure he'll volunteer. Now, where's my uh, lab kitty when you need him? So, if you are a scientist, or want to support science, then please do the Uncle Kage challenge and make a donation to a local ALS fund or international charity and advance our understanding of this terrible disease. Now, if you excuse me, I have to dry myself on something warm and fluffy. Come here, kitty. Oh, this is good. <laughs>